One of the questions I often get as a professor is how do we find stocks? You know, what stocks do I even, where do I even begin to start looking for stocks? And one of the things you can do in Bloomberg, particularly for student managed investment funds, is use the equity screening tool. And this gets you down to a manageable list of securities in which you can investigate stocks. So for example, what you do is you just, first of all, type in EQS. That's for equity screening. And let's say you've been assigned, you are an industrials analyst, for example, in the industrial sector, and it's a mid-cap fund. So you need to find mid-cap industrial stocks. Let's How are we going to figure this out? Let's say they're all located in the U.S. Well, we've got some standard screens we can start with. So let's start there. Well, let's do exchanges. Let's click on that, see what we can do there. We only want to look for stocks in the United States. So let's click on this North American button and boom, right here, you got United States. Let's click on that and you can see that that's right there. Let's hit update. All right. So now we've got US and we're down to 14. We, we started at 82 thousand stocks. Now we're down to 14,000, but we got to get it down more than that. Obviously we want to look for industrial. So I clicked on the second the sectors button. I'm going to click on industrials. Let's do all of industrials, both industrials, products, and services. Let's include all of that. So let's hit update there. And now we are down to 1159. Okay. We still got some room to do. So, you know, we want to do, this is a mid cap fund. So I want to do something on market capitalization. I don't see anything up here on market cap. So what I can do is actually just type that in market cap right here. And this button comes up. So let's click on that. Okay. So that came up. And so what we want to do now is define what we mean by a mid cap stock in terms of capitalization. So let's do it between different cap ranges. So this is going to be in millions of dollars. I think mid caps are generally thought of as between somewhere between say 1.5 billion. So that's going to be expressed as 15,000, 15,000 million. So I'm going to click on that. I'm just going to hit enter real quick. It's going to give me a quick error, but that's because I haven't set my upper limit yet. Let's do 15,000. So 1.5 billion to 15 billion. That's generally considered a good mid cap range. Now that takes us down to 194 stocks. Okay. What other things are we going to look for that's going to make our stock attractive? Well, let's say, for example, we want all stocks that have positive free cash flow. So because we're going to do a discounted cash flow analysis on these stocks at the end of the day, we want to make sure they at least have cash flow greater than zero. Let's just it's a pretty, you know, let's put this light screen in here. Just we're not asking for much. We just want to know that they generate positive cash flow. And that actually takes our universe down to 157. OK, so that helps. How about they have revenue growth over the past year, just so it's not an imploding company, you know, revenue growth of the past year of, I don't know, let's just say it comes up with percentages, let's say 5%. So let's put that in. Um, and now we're down to 73. Okay. How about something that's not too expensive? How about price earnings? Price earnings ratio. PE ratio, or maybe just PE, PE ratio right here. Let's, let's do this. Okay. Um, let's do less than, I don't want to, I don't want to make this too stringent because sometimes you can find expensive stocks that are good in other ways. So let's, let's put it at 30. You know, that's not crazy down to 40 stocks. We're getting somewhere. Um, that might be good enough for some people, but let's put in one more. Now, I'm recording this at the end of 2024. It has been a good year in the markets. So I'm going to put in total return and I want to have a stock that has good relative momentum, you know, price momentum. So it's had, it has had a total return. You know, if it was a down year in the market, I might, you know, be fine with a stock that had zero return. Let's just, because the market's been up so strong in 2024, I'm going to say the stock had to at least have 10% return, but up here, I want to do it over, not one day. I want to do it over, the last uh, year. Let's do one year. Okay. Let's do one year greater than 10%. Let's hit enter on that and see how many stocks that gets us. That gets us down to 30 stocks. I could tighten some of these in. Let's say I wanted to cut this list down more, put this into less than 25, maybe greater than 12, you know, over six, you know, there I can start tweaking these things a little bit, but this is a pretty good list. Now, if I want to do this, I hit see results and it's going to think for a second. And then it's going to give me a list of stocks right here. 
that I can start my analysis on. This is my beginning point, and I can start looking into these companies and seeing which ones I prefer. So this is a good way to start an, equ an equity analysis, trying to get your universe down to a tractable level. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up or subscribe to this channel because this is where I make finance fun for students. Thank you.